I just want to quickly say I'm sorry about this vlog being a lot later than it usually is. The new anime season, I'm still trying to adjust to the schedule of the new anime season, and so I need to try to figure out where is the best place to work on this vlog in the middle of the week. So, judging by the way the schedule has been, most likely it might be sometime Monday or uh, Tuesday when I get the weekly vlog up. I just want to let everybody know that's probably going to be the schedule for these weekly vlogs from now on. But, anyways, I have a lot of fan mail I need to open up, and I just wanted to ask before I do this... How's everybody's week been? What is your favorite anime so far since we've already had like episode 2's popping out? Is like, you know, everybody's favorite from the first time I asked still the same? Or has your anime of the season still changed? Or is it the same? Let me know in the comments below. If I had to personally say though my favorite at the moment would definitely be the, the Moe Zombie Girl one at the moment. That, that was a really good one. I really like that show quite a bit. So, anyways, let's uh, open up this big package I got in the mail the other day. I've been itching to open this up and... I, I can't wait to actually see what's inside. So, it feels light. It feels very light. It doesn't feel like anything heavy for it to be a big box. It says Chibi on it. It doesn't say any other name, so can't credit to whoever sent this. But, hopefully whoever sent this has their name inside. It also says Fragile, Handle with Care on the package. So, I hope everything is fine because you know how, you know, mail services can be. They can break something. Whoa! <laughs> I remember, you remember in the uh, last weekly vlog I made, I talked about guts, like I just need a damn Griffith and I need to get myself like a little table just for my Berserk volumes. Remember that? I, I said, I just need a table for my Berserk volumes. I need to put it to where guts is going after Griffith, like they're both looking at each other and I surround them in the Berserk volumes. I just need the Griffith figure. Oh my god, really? I'm gonna assume this is by the same person that sent, you know, the Guts figure. Oh my god. That's badass. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I don't want to lose anything, but that's the back of it. That's the side. It looks like really good quality. And there's, like, the changeable faces and stuff. Oh my god. The Hulk. Oh my. We have another box here, this weird size box, so... Gim Ginpachi. What the hell is that? Gim Ginpachi. We have another box. I'm gonna assume it's a figure. Let me move this box out of the way. I'm assuming this is another figure. It's shaped like a figure, whatever it is. <laughs> oh my god, really? I can already see it through the thing. Oh, this is the best figure ever. This is the best figure of all time. Nothing will beat this figure. Fucking Gin Sensei! Gin Sensei, come on! Oh yeah, just remember, that's just a lollipop. That isn't a cigarette, that's just a lollipop. It's Gin Sensei. <laughs> I'm getting Thomas, seriously. Oh my god! He's got a, He's got all the shitty. Oh my god, he has all like the changeable shit right there. He can change his head. I like the glasses on, you know, Gin Sensei, it's a lot better. He's got that coat, that snazzy coat. He's got his books. He's got like a little bear book right there. I think this is the, yeah, this is the first Gintama figure. I mean, I got the little tiny figure out right there. I don't know if you can see it thanks to this box here. But there's a little tiny Gintama like little figure out right there. But this is the first big figure I've gotten of Gintama. It looks really good. So, that once again, I'll show you the back. Or, oh yeah, that's how the full figure looks right there. Look at that. Again, holding the fucking books. <laughs> oh yeah, let me sit this right here. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. Griffith and Gin. Oh, okay. So we have a letter here. Two Chibi Sea Bears. Yo, Chibi. Really salty. They never sent you notes with any of the packages. So here they are. For Boa Hank. Oh, okay. So whoever sent this is uh, the person that sent me figures. Okay, so for Boa Hancock, congratulations, Chibi Sea Bears. You love the plot. I can see the madness for it in your eyes. Gold never looked better. Mr. Fish and Ducks. Oh, Fish and Ducks. I see you on Twitter and I see you in the comments. Oh, uh, how you doing? You sent these. Oh, my God. You sent a lot of figures. Okay, so here's the figures you sent. You sent Boa Hancock. You sent Saber. You sent Robin. Saber Bikini. And there were notes for Super Sonico and Snow Miko. Hopefully all the figures arrived undamaged. Still salty over the sellers, never including notes like Amazon does. I never got a note for Super Sonico or Miku, actually. Snow Miko. I never got those notes either. 
I, all the figures don't have any notes at, on them at all. Now that I think about it. But... Fish and ducks. I think I'm glad you sent me a letter for I could finally know who was sending me these figures Did you send the guts and Griffith stuff? You didn't mention it. This came at the same time as this package came in this big one So I don't know Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments uh, fish and ducks if you sent this, you know uh, Gen Sensei and you know the Griffith and stuff, but just you know, please let me know so, thank you very much. I really appreciate my figure collection is growing. I'm starting to stack things up on the top shelf you guys can't see. I have Kuritsugu and Saber. have the Robin Purple up there. And I'm going to, I haven't unopened, like, Guts yet. Like, I haven't opened the box of Guts yet. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. Because it's Guts figure and Griffith figure. That, that's monumental right there. Like, I, I don't know where I want to put them. I want to put them in a good spot. So, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put those figures at. So... We have this next package from Japan, and it's from Rosuke. Rosuke, that's a nice name, Rosuke. I like that, that just rolls off the tongue. So thank you very much, Rosuke. This is a package from Japan. It says book on it, so I want to assume some form of Japanese manga. So here is the cover of it. I don't know what manga this is. Uh, hopefully there is a name or something in here in English. Oh crap, it's a light novel. It's a light novel. Whoa. Holly novels, Narese Konohara. It's a light novel. Really? Uh, this is, I think, the first Japanese light novel I own. I mean, I got the uh, Fate Stay Night, the Avalon, fate, uh, you know, book that's a light novel. But, I mean, that doesn't really count because I bought the Blu-ray. This is, I think, the first official novel I've gotten that's Japanese. I don't even know what the series is, but judging by for Achieve It to send this to me, I'm going to assume it's probably a very good series, and I should probably read it. If there's an English translation on this, I'll have to look it up and see. So if anyone could confirm what the series is, I might have to just check out, you know, the offer name and figure out what series this offer made. But if anyone already knows, please let me know in the comments. So, moving on to the next package. Thank you very much, Arosuke. This is from Matthew. Okay, thank you very much, Matthew. Cheapster, Mafia, and or Hitman genres love them. I'm going to eventually send you a Golgo 13. Hopefully, you will watch and review from Mizzy Matt. Oh, Mizzy Matt, you sent me some stuff before. Okay, you have another message here. It's nice to see a person doing something that makes them happy, and at the same time, over 60,000 people... Uh, making uh, 60,000 people happy too. God knows I need you for Tokyo Ghoul Re sometimes after I read it. Lol, you're a great help. Thank you, Chibi. I get told that a lot. I help people out with Tokyo Ghoul. It makes me really feel happy, actually, when I see Chibi say, I really help not understanding chapters of Tokyo Ghoul. You all make me understand, too. Like, a lot of you have helped me out with Tokyo Ghoul as well to learn a lot more from it. And I want to also thank you for those Chibits that also have helped me out. So, you sent me Gangsta Volume 2. Gangsta Volume 3 and Gangsta Volume 4. I have Gangsta Volume 1. I think you sent me the fr uh, first volume of Gangsta. I, I think you did. And I said I would read the manga. I will read the manga because I want to see how it is compared to the anime. And I'm really loving Gangsta from this anime season. I will be checking out Volume 1 very soon to just compare. I did briefly look over it when I did my first episode review. I looked over it barely and I got to see what it looked like. And I really did like what I saw, so I will have to be checking these volumes out because... Is this all the volumes that are in America at the moment? Only four volumes or is there more? Curious about that. But thank you very much, Mizzy Matt. I really accept these and I will gladly be reading them very soon to do some comparisons with the anime. So we have another package here. Another yellow Amazon package. Uh, Chibi, review this title now. I don't freaking care if you're busy analyzing Bible Black first DVD. Relax, I will send you the entire series. I will send you the entire series or is busy with the prison school. Just review this now! Review what? What is this? Which is this? Pandora in the Crimson Shell Ghost Urn. Like, it's some form of android robot girl coming out of like a gelatin body. I could just, it looks, it looks like a, I don't even know how to describe it, it looks like a wax body or something? What the fuck? 
Exciting new cyberpunk series from two manga legends, Shiro Masumune, the creator of Ghost in the Shell, and Rikudo Koshi, the creator of Excel Saga. Oh shit! Those two came together to make this? Oh god. Okay, that this is gonna be a good series. I can already tell you that. Those two work together on it. So let's open up this next couple packages. Vinland Saga Book 3. Yeah, I have Book 1 and 2. You really want me to review Vinland Saga. Man, I've had to put Vagabond on hold for a little bit because of uh, copyright strike and stuff. But you really want me to review Vinland. Yeah, it's Courtney. Hope you're having a good day. From... <laughs> Thank you very much, Courtney. You want me to review this, aren't you? I told you, I'm going to review it. Like, I, I just recently got the colorful you sent me. I remember, I, I recently reviewed that. I've I'm, I'm been watching a bunch of shows. I've been also, you know, reading JoJo and The Gray Man, Claymore. I, I've just been reading a lot of stuff. And with a busy schedule, it's hard to really do the side projects. But I'm trying my best. But I'm going to have to dive into this Vinland Saga. I heard it's very, very good. It's a good series. I want to dive into it. That artwork looks really nice. I like the artwork on Volume 3. That is badass. That is badass. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's it's centipede, Sama. Centipede. Centipede. Oh my god, dude, it's like a centipede. Yo. Oh my god. Damn, I am. Yes, man. Go. Centipede. Oh, there's no name on this. No message in the box. I'm, I, I don't know who sent it because because this came at the exact same time as the letter you sent. So I don't know if you sent this or it's someone completely different. But whoever sent Centipede Sama, you fucking on point. You on point because you can be mine. Oh. oh, that's great. That's great shit. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Gonna have to figure out where to set that. Enjoy the news from the Tsukihime from Joey. Oh, Joey, you, you, oh, yeah, you update me on that, uh, Karno Kyokai all the time and Fate. I remember you from the, all the Fate reviews and stuff. You comment a lot in the comments. I've seen you quite a bit. You're always on that Type Moon stuff, and you're also always on the, uh, you know, I, I see you in Tokyo Ghoul too, yeah. I, I, I saw you in Tokyo Ghoul comments as well. So from Joe, you're all. I also see you on Twitter. So you sent me that um, that article. I, I remember I posted it on my Twitter. I talked about you know some form of new Tsukihime news. Like I, I was talking about it, and so I'm guessing you sent me that new news that was announced. Look at that. Fate Stay Not Unlimited Blade Works. Fate Grand Order, and then some form of Tsukihime news is coming with it. What is this? Fate La. I I can't even pronounce that, but. Is that a keychain? It looks like a cute, look at that little, cute little saber! Yeah, that's adorable! Cute little fucking saber. I'm assuming that's a keychain. It, it looks like a keychain. Yeah, it's a keychain. It's in cardboard. Okay, I don't want to lose that. I'm going to sit aside. I don't want to lose the little tiny keychain. But let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. Supposedly, this has news about the Tsukuhime. It was supposedly the game, though. It wasn't a new anime, which sad to me because I would like an anime of that series. A Votable should tackle that. But judging by the amount of projects a Votable's been taking upon, I highly doubt they'll be getting to that type of series anytime soon. So, instantly, I see some fate material. I yeah, look at that fate material out there. Tsukuhime and Rin in the back. A lot of fate stuff. A lot of oh, there's Ilya. Here's a uh, fake lead. Happy days coming soon. Oh, uh, the new season that will be coming out very soon. Yeah, I can't wait for Ilya. Hmm. Oh, here's talking about the new Sukihime designs. You know the new game designs and stuff. Supposedly there was a remake of the game coming out. Here's the new designs of the game. Whoa, I like that. Oh my god, that game looks nice. It's gonna be a cool looking uh, visual novel when it's done. Here's the different designs right here for Sukihime. I suppose they're adding in a new character. I heard they were adding in a new character or something in this game. I never played it myself. I'm currently playing the Fate Stay Not visual novel. But I heard that they're adding a new character for this. So I'm looking forward to that. What the fuck? A Mel Saber? What the hell is that? A Mel Saber! What? There's a lot of Type Moon stuff in this. There's a lot of Type Moon stuff in this. Like, there is a shit ton of Type Moon stuff. Like, it all looks like a photable. Like, th this all looks like a photable. Look at that. 
Is that Waver? That's Waver, ain't it? Yeah, that looks like Waver. Yeah, that is Waver, isn't it? Oh, shit. Now, there's some crazy stuff in here. Oh, there's the new designs for the Fate Grand Order. I think it's Fate Grand Order coming out. Yeah, there's the new design. Supposedly, that is going to be Caster or Berserker. I think that is, and that's Lancer. The female Lancer out there. Oh, my God, dude, that female Lancer. And before she suicides. <laughs> that's going to suck. And, no, that has to be Caster right there. That has to be Caster. That has to be Berserker down bottom. That dude looks like a Caster. I like that. Looks really cool. That looks really cool. Oh, th there's a uh, fate right there. I'm guessing that's a different type of fate. There's a red saber on the top, uh, top right there, top right. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me get this book out of my face. I'm gonna be staring at. I'm gonna be staring at this shit for too long. So I think that's a perfect way to wrap up this video. Before I do though, I want to say a couple of things. Chibits, hopefully your week has been very good. You know, this anime season's been good for you. Hopefully you're having a lot of stuff that you're enjoying and watching this season. I'm thankful for all the support you've all sent me, and I wish you all many more days of happy times. And you all stay in great shape. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please be safe. Chibi